So it looks like another Real Housewives of Atlanta star is facing tax issues, and you might not believe who it is. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we have breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload. But before we get into this Real Housewives of Atlanta news, definitely want to say rest in peace to Oscar-winning actor, the first black Oscar-winning actor, Sidney Poitier. It was confirmed earlier today that Sidney Poitier passed away at the age of 94 years old. Definitely remembering this fantastic actor, but also a man that just represented black people and himself with such grace and dignity. But let's get into this news. Let's talk about Peter Thomas. As you know, Peter Thomas, we talk about him periodically. Most recently, we talked about Peter Thomas when we were talking about Apollo Nida getting arrested, secretly arrested in Miami last year during Memorial Day weekend. Now, Peter Thomas is facing not charges, but if he doesn't pay this tax situation, he might be. So according to Radar Online, Peter Thomas is being accused of owing over $450,000 in back taxes dating back to December 2008 to December 2009 for his then club that we saw on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Uptown Restaurant and Lounge. OK, I know some of you are saying, Kempire, we could have guessed this one. We could have guessed that Peter Thomas might be owing taxes. OK, but let's get into what the court documents are saying. So according to court documents obtained by Radar, the IRS is accusing Peter Thomas of owing money related to his former Uptown restaurant uh, and lounge, Uptown restaurant and lounge. Uh, the Atlanta spot closed back in 2010 because, according to Peter Thomas, it was because of the recession. It appears the government was just getting around to this because they filed that he owed this amount of money over the summer. Damn. So the lien accuses Thomas of failing to pay quarterly taxes starting in December of 2008 and December through December 2009. He allegedly failed to make a total of 10 payments totaling $450,399.52. That's a lot of money. So according to Radar, they said the IRS warns Thomas that they could begin the process of seizing his assets if the debt isn't paid fully immediately. The lien was filed over the summer but has yet to be released, meaning that the bill has yet to be paid off. And honestly, I don't see Peter Thomas paying this bill off quickly. If anything, though, he should be in contact with them about a payment plan. So as you know, since he closed his restaurant in 2003, through 2010, he's opened multiple other restaurants. And this is not the first time Peter Thomas has owned businesses and restaurants. He's been in this nightlife and restaurant scene for many, many years. So I'm sure he's probably closed and opened multiple restaurants since then. And he has. He has opened a restaurant in North Carolina and most recently a bar one in Miami. When we talked about Candy and her tax issues, we said Candy could pay that off. There's no worry. But Candy's Candy, I think, totaled like over twenty thousand dollars. This isn't four hundred and fifty thousand. This is almost a half a million dollars that Peter Thomas, who I don't know how much Peter Thomas has in the bank, but I don't see Peter Thomas being able to pay this off easily. If this was Candy, I even at four hundred fifty thousand dollars, I would say Candy would be able to pay this off. I don't know about Peter. And the fact that Peter got this notice over the summer and has not been in the works of resolving it, it's not good. It's not good. So you also may recall that Peter and Cynthia just last year, she was suing him in court for money that he was supposed to pay her back. It was I, he was supposed to pay her back a hundred and seventy thousand dollar loan. Well, that was quietly um, dismissed from court. So. We've heard multiple reports from Peter that they had an agreement, whatever it may be. They must have figured that out offline. But back in 2008, Cynthia was still married to Peter. And I believe she also invested in Uptown Restaurant. So is she technically liable also to be paying for this, this money? No mention of her in these court documents or whether or not she owes anything. This is all solely on Peter Thomas. But this kind of reminds me of the whole... Uh, Pastor Jamal situation where he owes almost a million dollars in back taxes, allegedly. And 
that last year, one of those years, he was still married to Giselle, but Giselle said she's not worried. She, she's fine. But is Cynthia fine? Is Cynthia Bailey going to be caught up in this mess too? I hope not, because I don't want that for Cynthia. I do not want that for Cynthia. But Peter, go pay your taxes or figure out a payment plan. Guys, I want to know your thoughts on this. And if you're a tax accountant or expert, let us know the ramifications of what will happen if Peter doesn't get in contact with the IRS and figure this out. And has he? And we just don't know about it. But let's continue the conversation below. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Happy New Year and thanks for watching.